high summer in northwest India and an ancient land is in the process of transformation in the backdrop of a glorious past life now is taking a different course for its creatures as they adapt to survive in one of the world's most parched landscapes each in its own unique way adding to the rich tapestry that is Rajasthan It's mid June the intense heat of the previous months has left the region dry and devoid of moisture the hot spell this year continued well into june and then finally came the first rains of the pre monsoons gradually the landscape changed and showed signs of renewed life the light showers have also led to the growth of fresh vegetation around the lakes damp showers such as these retained just enough moisture for the roots to sustain offering an inexhaustible supply of food which is now attracting herds of cheetal deer shallow waters at this time give easy access to weed most cherished by the sambar with resources still at a premium life inside the jungle tends to concentrate around bodies of water such as these for certain other creatures having gained human acceptance has been key to survival be living around people means that they are small in size fleet-footed and mostly vegetarian langur monkeys in addition are venerated as deities of the monkey god hanuman their sacred status and passive temperaments have enabled them to live alongside people for centuries <laughs> troops of langurs are found everywhere from ancient ruins to wherever the jungle meets habitation close proximity to people also means access to resources that are not naturally available and also to those that are scarce at this time in a land where religion preaches tolerance certain creatures stand to benefit
Every morning, a familiar sound echoes through the jungle. The time is well suited for a ritual that is about to take place. Male peacocks make use of vantages to scan their surroundings for rivals and potential mates and for announcing their own presence. This done, he moves on to the next stage. With all the clamoring, it doesn't take long to attract attention. Legend has it that the peacock's flamboyant display is a sign of the monsoon's near arrival. Enticing the peahen though is far from easy and he can sustain his display only over short periods. As the day advances, his attempts grow less vigorous and eventually the heat and exhaustion force him to take cover. It won't be until the first monsoon showers that he finally secures a female. Until then, he will renew his efforts each morning. This year, however, the monsoons are late. It's been a week since it rained and with each passing day, more and more moisture is sucked out of the land. Well shielded from the direct heat, some smaller reserves of moisture still survive. In the blistering heat, these should seem very tempting to the jungle folk, but at such times, the animals are most cautious of their approach. Tigers are the largest predators in Rajasthan. Besides people, they have no natural threats. And in these jungles, they have no other creature to fear. But for all their might, they are not immune to the heat. Patrolling their territories is an exhausting task at this time and requires that they drink frequently. They keep breaking journey at such small water holes throughout their territories. And unlike other big cats, tigers are particularly fond of water. The 
heat of the day can keep him here for hours. Until then, the waters are almost exclusive to him. Every month, a holy pilgrimage takes place to the temples. People come from all over to pay their respects, to seek forgiveness, and to ask for a spite. This time, their prayers may have been answered. They called him Indra. the god of rain. He twirled menacingly and moving forward unleashed his fury. It's commonly said in Rajasthan that only a hot summer can lead to a good monsoon. Much like the belief of its people, who speak of the best always following the worst, of abundance after scarcity, and of a cycle that repeats year after year, where one season gives way to another. So just like the one before it, this too shall pass. Till next year, the clouds gather again and the jungle is filled with song.